What's going on people, it is Chris here, back in the building with my top 10 moments from the Euros in years gone by, episode number 9. And we are two days away from the delayed Euro 2020 tournament, but it doesn't matter. As you can tell, I'm getting excited the closer the tournament comes, even though as an England fan, and fingers crossed, even my toes are crossed, that I'm hoping that England do not disappoint at this year's Euros, but let's get on to my second favourite moment of all time from the Euros. So, moment number two is on today's discussion, and it is from Euro 1988. However, the 1980s as a whole, when I look at it from a European perspective, was probably better renowned for its political spectacle rather than its sporting spectacle. More on that in a video for another day because that's irrelevant right now because today we're talking about sport and this was the last Euros where West Germany competed and the Soviet Union competed otherwise known as the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, the USSR. I don't care pretty much how anyone pronounces it but that's another story for another day and although they didn't compete at the tournament the last one where Yugoslavia was internationally recognised by UEFA but the tournament as a whole was hosted by West Germany and obviously it was their last tournament as a pre-unified nation before they unified officially in 1990. But the tournament as a whole, obviously it featured eight teams and the final itself, which is the talking point of my second favourite moment from the Euros, was contested between the Soviet Union and the Netherlands because the funny thing was is that the Soviet Union did play the Netherlands in the group stage and they were in group two and the Soviet Union beat the Dutch 1-0 however both teams came through their semi-finals and obviously they made it out the group however the teams would meet again in the final at the Olympia Stadion in Munich or München obviously I'm hoping and praying that to any Germans that are watching this video that I haven't absolutely butchered the pronunciation of the city. But the final itself, well, the truth is it wasn't the best of finals ever, but Rude Hullet's early goal just after the half hour mark set the Dutch on their way. However, my favourite moment came in the second half where Van Basten's volley came, well, it was inside the USSR box. However, for those of you that haven't happened to have watched it, the way that he volleyed it and the position that he was volleyed it, he was on the byline of the USSR box, pretty much the far byline, and his volley was about was about as crisp as you could hit it, beats the keeper on the far post and was pretty much the icing on the cake and has to be, for me, one of the greatest goals from the Euros in its history. But that is my second favourite moment, is Van Basten's brilliance from Euro 88. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out my previous episodes in the description below. Be sure to look after yourselves both physically and mentally. Be sure to hit the bell for notifications when I upload a new video. And don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel right here. And until next time guys, peace out.